all, welcome to the Trans Am Series presented by Pirelli. It's round four from the famous and iconic Road America. Road America at over four miles is one of the fastest and most challenging circuits in North America. Coming in to TA this week and a local man from near Road America, Denny Lammers racing for Tony Ave. He started racing late, but he's just as enthusiastic as anyone. Well, I don't know, I've been coming here since I was about 16 years old, but I didn't start racing here until I was 50. But uh, we do all the engineering or most of the engineering architectural work here. It's been one of my favorite places forever. It's a long track, great for these kind of motors. Uh, I think most of the drivers here will tell you they love this place. Uh, drivers love it, IndyCar drivers love it, they all love it. So, uh, this is one of my favorite places on earth. We turn our attention first to TA, and in that class it's all been about Chris Dyson. His father raced here in 83, and now Dyson wants pole position ahead of the championship leader, Ernie Francis Jr. There was plenty of others. Also looking for a good result, Simon Gregg and local hero, Denny Lammers. At the end of the session though, Chris Dyson with the pole for the plant Ford Mustang. Really exciting. Uh, the, you know, the car's been fantastic the whole weekend and uh, I felt really confident going out there today. You know, Tommy and Ernie go out, they always keep you honest, but I, I knew we had a little bit in our hands today and uh, we, we put it to good work. So the grid looks like this. Chris Dyson in pole, Tommy Treacy alongside him, then it's Ernie Francis Jr. and Amy Ruman on row two, Cliff Evan and Simon Gregg, and Matthew Burtson and Kerry Hitt in eighth position. Dyson determined to get back to winning ways, especially as this man, Tommy Treacy, won last time out at Brainerd, and this man, Ernie Francis Jr., has two wins under his belt. Sadly, third in the championship, Amy Ruman in the McNichols 23 Corvette wouldn't even start the race. Transmission problems for her and she didn't get the start. On board then with Tommy Treacy as we head for the rolling start. Chris Dyson leads them across the strip. Ernie Francis Jr. up to third place, a good clean start. Treacy in second place and chasing down Chris Dyson out of five. Under the Corvette bridge and already Ernie Francis Jr. makes his move up the inside, a very clean maneuver. So the early leaders are Chris Dyson, Coming into five, Ernie Francis Jr. in second place and Tommy Treacy, Simon Gregg holding fourth place and in a battle of his own as the field started to spread out. At the back of this group, car number 30, Richard Grant in the Corvette, pushing for a podium position. As we go back on ball with Tommy Treacy, trying desperately to get on level terms with Ernie Francis Jr. He almost does it, or does he? Yes, Treacy goes through at turn two, nicely done. Also keeping an eye on Cliff Evan, the local man from Appleton, Wisconsin. Caution came out and that bunched them all together. So after the restart, it was Dyson, Greasy and Francis Jr. But Francis Jr. had more mechanical gremlins and so too with this man on the very last lap, going into Speedville at turn nine. Greasy spins it and would finish sixth, leaving Chris Dyson to march on to what would be a very solid victory. Francis Jr. trying to keep him honest, but today, it was all about Chris Dyson and the plaid number 20, taking the chequered flag for his first win of the year. Ernie Francis Jr. in second. Cliff Eben from Wisconsin takes third. Simon Gregg fourth and Danny Lammers in fifth. The car was absolutely fantastic the whole race. I mean, we we just, we, uh, we had a great car from start to finish all the way through. The plaid Mustang was just brilliant. The Pirelli tires, we kept, the, the, we kept them on the car the whole way. I got a little bit nervous on that restart, just thinking Tommy was coming. You can never, ever take it for granted here, but to come here and win at Road America, it's a huge victory for the team, and I couldn't be happier. Fifth career win, then, for Chris Dyson. So I'm, I'm, I, I don't have a mask on right now, but I'm socially distant uh, right here in Victory Lane, which is the best place to be. Dyson now back into contention in fourth position. Ernie Francis Jr. still leads with 118. Greasy second, Simon Gregg now third, and Amy Ruman dropping to fifth after that non-start. Great weekend of racing from Road America. We'll be back next time from me, Jonathan Green. Until then, bye-bye for now.